superstar first graders welcome to your new grade one learning journey and new video we'll discover fantastic stories participate in exciting activities and learn interesting information together on this beautiful adventure so put on your explorer hats because every day is a treasure of knowledge waiting to be found in this weekly video, we will learn to spell words with consonant patterns in G and in K. In phonics, we will continue learning about the consonant pattern in G and in K, and we'll be learning about open syllables. On Tuesday, we will introduce the new informational text titled Where Plants Grow. On Wednesday, we will learn about capitalization, and on Thursday, we will learn how to write an informational paragraph. We will learn to spell words with consonant patterns in G and in K. In G, both letters make a sound of ing. In K, make a sound of nk. The spelling words for this week are ring, bring, Pink, sing, song, and think. She has a gold ring on her finger. Bring me a glass of water, please. Pink roses are beautiful. We would like you to sing a song. I think I'm going to love it out there. In phonics, we will learn about the consonant pattern in G and in K. So in G, make ng sound and nk make nk sound now let's read a word that end with nk so we read it as sink pink tank and bank words ending with ng let's read them we have swing king spring and gong We will learn about open syllables. A syllable is a word part with a vowel sound. An open syllable ends in a vowel. And the five English vowels are A, E, I, O, U. It usually has a long vowel sound. So when a word or a syllable has only one consonant and one vowel, the vowel sound is usually long. So we have examples of open syllables like high. It starts with a consonant and ends with a vowel. So we read it as high and it's an open syllable. Go. It begins with a consonant and it ends with a vowel. So it's what? It's an open syllable. B, it's a consonant, and E, it's a vowel. Again, it's an open syllable. In this week, we'll be reading the new story about plants titled Where Plants Grow. So it's a non-fiction descriptive story, and it's an informational book that explains the different conditions under which plants can grow. The targeted reading strategy is about asking and answering questions, the objectives of the lesson to use reading strategy of asking and answering questions to understand text, to understand and identify main idea and details. Capitalization. The capitalization rules Always, at the beginning of the sentence, we begin the first letter of the first word. Like, the apple is red. So the T here is capitalized because it's the at the beginning of the sentence. Always, the pronoun I is always capitalized. Like, I like to ride my bike. So, I make sure that it's in capital 
names of people, places, and things. Like here, Drew wants to go to Werner and Spencer in New York City for ice cream. So Drew is a name. Werner and Spencer is a place. And New York City also is a place. Month and days and holidays. New Year's Day is on Sunday, January 1st in 2023. So New Year's Day, it's a holiday. Sunday is a day. January is a month. Capitalization. Proper nouns like names of people and names of places should be always written in capital letters. So we capitalize the first letter of each word in a proper noun like John Smith. So the J and the S are written in capital letters and London as well. So London, it's a name of a city and also special names of people and special places should be written in capital letter. First word of a sentence. Always capitalize the first word of a complete sentence. Make sure to begin your sentence with a capital letter. Days of the week and the month of the year. Capitalize the names of days of the week and the month of the year. Like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday are days. January, February, March and April, they are months. So make sure to write them in capital letters. In this semester, we will start writing paragraphs and we will learn how to write informational writing. So when we write an informational writing, you should start with the main idea or the topic sentence. And you should have three facts or three details that support the main idea. And then you end it with a closing sentence which restates your whole idea or the big idea.